I want to tell you about something about uh, package management for C++ on Android. And the first question is why we need it. Um, and uh, well, Android OS is kind of Linux. Uh, we uh, work with C Lang. We work with uh, LLVM C++ runtime. We uh, use Gradle for the build system. And uh, like uh, most of the apps are actually managed apps in Java or Kotlin or whatever you wish. And they uh, eventually use native methods, uh, native libraries via Java native interface. Uh, well, uh, since uh, for, for a while it has been pretty easy to uh, integrate uh, uh, GNI uh, binaries uh, in your library when you want to uh, distribute a library, a Java library with uh, native methods, it's pretty easy to distribute it, but, okay, but uh, this is not always enough. First of all, uh, the developers uh, app developers who work in uh, managed uh, code, uh, Java or Kotlin, may need uh, something that is not available in Java or Kotlin. Second, uh, they are not used to leave their IDE and uh, they want to develop everything inside it, uh, which does not fit necessarily C++ libraries as we know them. And uh, while it is easy to use uh, third-party pre-built libraries and uh, they may need some of their C++ code uh, integrated or communicating with third-party code. And here is the catch. It's easy to, uh, within Android uh, standard uh, development environment to uh, add your own native uh, methods, but it's not easy to use third-party dependencies. On the other hand, there are library authors who want to share their libraries to the Android developers community. And these developers struggle with two build systems that are used uh, for native Android developers development, NDK build, and CMake. They uh, have to support uh, developers who sit on Windows, and Windows is uh, very well known uh, as a miserable platform for cross-platform uh, development in native. And, well, they have their own developer de dependencies too, and these dependencies are hard to manage uh, people tend to build huge bundles of all the dependencies together and then they face uh, outdated uh, libraries and uh, they cannot uh, fix uh, bugs and even uh, security problems on their uh, dependencies. On the other hand, if they want to link to their dependencies, then the app developer is on their own trying to uh, mix all these, all this puzzle together and they are not skilled in building uh, this uh, complex multi-level uh, C++ uh, packages. So we really need uh, a package management system that will be integrated in the uh, development system that uh, everybody likes, Android Studio. And so Google came to rescue and they bring us a prefab package management and uh, it works, looks very nice. You simply add a Maven dependency to your build gradle and now your C++ can see the uh, exported headers of uh, your package, of that, pack, that third-party package like uh, 
uh, FFmpeg in this case, and uh, you can uh, use it in your build system through find package in CMake or through import module in Android. Uh, well, this works pretty nice. And uh, here are a few features that I want to emphasize for prefab. Uh, this, uh, the packages uh, contain public headers and compiled binaries and may contain other uh, resources like uh, license uh, files uh, usually are included or uh, re uh, Java, uh, compiled Java or whatever. Uh, this uh, system supports both static and shared libraries. It uh, supports external dependencies in, in other prefab packages. And an example is linked here. I hope this presentation will be available for you uh, after the meetup. The uh, system matches uh, your target to the uh, package by ABI, OS version, uh, C++ runtime, whatever you need. And it may be extended to other platforms beyond Android if you need so. What is important, it is fully integrated in Android Studio 4.0 and uh, with Android Gradle plugin 4.0. But uh, Android, Studio, Android Gradle plugin 4.0 is not officially available yet. And uh, here are some uh, tips how you can tweak your Gradle properties file to have this working right now on the uh, beta release of Android Studio 4.0. Uh, whatever uh, the list of supported packages is uh, pretty modest. Uh, the, uh, still now, but, and uh, there is an impressive wish list of 27 libraries. Whoever wants to uh, help uh, the community can take and uh, convert something. Uh, we'll talk about it in a moment. Um, because, well, when you are a library developer or, or if you want to use a library that is not uh, listed on that short list in uh, wiki, uh, then you have to prepare the prefab for your library yourself. And uh, there are some tools from Google that are based on Gradle and Java and not, may not necessarily fit your library and your development environment. Uh, there is a nice uh, take uh, uh, for VC package that exports a VC package to prefab. And uh, last but not least, I uh, personally uh, prefabbed uh, two important libraries like uh, FFmpeg and OpenH264. Uh, uh, and uh, it was fun, uh, but not easy. Uh, not very easy. Uh, it will be easier for a 10th or 12th uh, library, I think. Uh, it's important to mention that uh, you don't need Maven repo to develop your prefab. You can use local AR. It is fully compatible with the Google prefab. And uh, finally, I want to say thank you to you for your attention and uh, my takeaway, importantly, is that uh, it is uh, possible to build a prefab compatible package, AAR, using our uh, usual uh, traditional Linux uh, build tools, uh, shell scripts, make scripts, uh, whatever we need, automake. Thank you very much. Thank you. Gracias.